good. I've had a good year. Um, I've got a girlfriend. Yeah, well, we'll see. But it's like, it's, it's, it's pretty big news for me because I'm 25. I've never had a girlfriend before. Um, and she's cool. She's like, she's from Edinburgh actually, and she's kind of like a bull buster. Um, but it's complicated. That's the thing. It's a very complicated relationship that I'm in. You know, there's a lot of hurdles that we had to overcome to get here. Like, uh, she used to be my agent. It's a bit weird, isn't it? There's like a 10 year age gap between us. Um, and then we go, she's older. So she's. <laughs> Are you shit? Is that a lack of respect? I've been like, oh, I mean, he's going out with a 15 year old. That makes sense, yeah. Also, my career might not be firing at all cylinders at the moment, but a 15 year old agent. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> It's insane. But I don't know, here's the problem with me. I don't know if I've got the tools to make her happy. I don't know if I've got the tools, because she deserves to be happy. She deserves to be so fucking happy. You know, I mean, as happy as it's possible for a Scottish pensioner to be. But like, she really, she's earned it, and I can't even make myself happy. I don't even know how to do it. Like, I was a professional comedian for about eight months, maybe a year. Um, and then about six months ago, I had to go back to work part time. Uh, in a call centre. Yeah, and there's a number of reasons why I had to do this. The main one being, I'm not as funny as I was led to believe. That's the main <laughs> reason, but I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want that to be my life. That's not my dream. Being a comedian's my dream. I don't want to work in a fucking call centre, you know? I don't want to say the same scripted words over and over again <laughs> to amuse strangers. You know, I want to do stand up. If you don't laugh at that, you're a fucking cunt, honestly. I don't mean, sincerely, I mean that. I've been doing this shit for five fucking years. You laugh at it. Sorry, I, I do show up. Uh, I fucking hate the call centre. I hate it. I fucking, I wish nothing about age on everyone in that building. I truly, like, sincerely, sincerely, I say that. And you might think, that's a bit harsh, mate. And I say, you don't know. You don't know. So I have to sit there, I have to listen to all the people around me using all the technical call centre jargon, you know, all the call centre for like decision making contact, you know, and thanks. I just think, fuck this shit. I don't need it. And they're all kids, they're all teenagers, all the people around me are teenagers. 16, 17 year olds, I don't fucking like them. I don't want them around me. Like, I think we give 16, 17 year olds so much in society. Like, people think they should vote now. People think 16 year olds, but I've never fucking met a 16 year old. They're fucking animals, they're awful. It's, I think it'd be so dangerous to give them the vote, 16 year old. I think it's dangerous enough that we're teaching the fuckers how to swim. I do, I <laughs> Awful people. I'd rather give a pelican the vote. Hang on, I'd rather give a pelican the vote. But the argument is, what about the fact, Sean, that there are 16 year olds in this country, in the army, dying for us, who cannot vote in general elections? What do you think of that? I'll tell you what I think of that. I think that's win-win. That's what I think of that. That's what I think. So I've done it. Right, fucking, yeah. That's what I think. Uh, I fancy you see what else I think I'm doing an hour. It's my first hour in Edinburgh this year. And I'm doing it for free, make of that what you will. Uh, <laughs> well, I like it, it should be fun. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you then. Thank you very much. <laughs>